If you're mishitting your forehand and it's super inconsistent, this lesson is for you because I'm going to show you one powerful tip that's going to help you gain more confidence, increase your consistency, and hit the ball on the sweet spot more often. My name is Jeff Salzenstein, the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world. And in today's video lesson, I'm going to show you how to avoid the dreaded miss hits. I see a lot of players struggling with this concept, but once you break it down, once you help a player understand it, they can get out on the court and practice it. And that's what I want for you. Now, this idea is around pulling off the ball. Have you ever had a coach or someone tell you, hey, you're pulling off the ball, uh, keep your head still? Well, that's great, but I don't think we're going deep enough to help a player like you understand exactly what's going on. So let me start out by saying, well, let me actually start with a question. How do you get power? How do you get power, especially on your forehand side? Well, there's a couple of ways. The first way is to make sure that your body is relaxed, especially your arm and your hand. You have to have a relaxed arm and hand. But to get power, you also have to use the ground appropriately. If you use the ground inefficiently, you're going to lose power, probably going to lose control. You might even start mishitting forehands because I'm going to explain in a moment. So, for a basic forehand, when you're stepping into the ball, when you swing, you have to make sure that you push against the ground at the right time to get that easy power, to build that solid forehand. And what, here's what I see players doing. When they get ready to swing, maybe their front knee is bent a little bit. Okay, they're in position, they're in a neutral stance like this. As they go to swing, they straighten up. So before they make contact, they straighten their front leg. So all of the energy is gone. All of the energy from the ground, that ground to create that easy power where you push off, it's gone. It's gone away, it's been released. So players are getting excited and they're straightening this leg before contact and now it's just all arm and their head and their chest have elevated above where they were just a fraction of a second earlier. So as you're tracking the ball coming in and you have a bent knee as you step in, if you straighten before contact, look at what my chest and my head did. It lifted up like this and there's probably a little bit of rotation too that's happening. So the key and the way you're going to fix this, if you feel like you're popping up and your coach keeps saying, stop popping up, stop popping up, stop popping up, but you don't know how to fix it. Here's one key that I want to give you. When you swing, to exaggerate this, I want you to keep your front knee bent. This ball is in your strike zone. It's not a high ball. If the ball is high, okay, you have to straighten your leg sooner. But if the ball is in your strike zone and the knee is bent like this, keep it bent. Now you say, wait a minute, Jeff, I've studied your videos. You actually do straighten your leg. I'm going to get to that in a moment. Keep your knee bent until after contact. Okay, keep your knee bent after contact. Now, what you're going to do next is you can straighten the leg after you've made contact. So my knee is bent on my front knee and then I straighten. Knee is bent and then I straighten. What's happening is you are straightening before contact. You are going early. That's this idea of rotating your hips early, of trying to get more power, manufacturing power. You want to practice swinging and then straightening. So if you have to delay the straightening of your leg, so be it. Exaggerate the bend and then the straighten. The bend, then the straighten. If you start straight, you're not going to be able to use the ground. If you bend and then you straighten before contact, you've released the energy before contact. So you can't release it into the ball. So make sure that your, your knee is bent when the ball's in strike zone, and then you swing, you're here, and then you can straighten up. Now, I've been able to work on this forehand long enough where as I'm swinging, I'm starting to straighten 
but I haven't totally locked out yet. What I see players doing is I see them locking and even lifting up their heel like this. So they actually lock, they actually lock their leg and lift and then they make contact and that's what's throwing you off. I see this stuff right here, straighten before contact. Straighten, so the head lifts, the chest lifts, and, and the leg lifts, and the leg straightens. So you wanna stay calm, you wanna keep your chest soft, you wanna keep your head quiet, and then you can straighten after. So when you're done with the swing, the leg can straighten out afterwards. Does that make sense? Try to make it as clear as I could for you that when you swing, you wanna make sure that front knee is bent when you're stepping in, and then you can straighten it long after the ball is gone. So see if you can feel the bend in your front knee and then when you get to this position, the finish of your swing, that's when you can feel like you straighten your front foot. Now everything changes when you open up your stance. When you open up your stance, you're gonna keep your knees bent and you're gonna finish with your knees bent. But when you're stepping into a ball to release the energy from the ground, you can straighten that front leg. You just have to do it after contact. All right, did you enjoy this video? I hope you did. I had a blast making it. If you can't tell by now, I'm passionate about helping players like you get to the next level and to do it faster and easier. And to do this faster and easier, you can pick up our free membership. You can get signed up absolutely free, no credit cards required. You could actually click below this video, there's a link. You can also uh, click somewhere in this video as well. It will help you accelerate your results absolutely free. It's on the Tennis Evolution app. It's also in the online platform. We've got lessons on your forehand, your backhand, your footwork, your serve, injury prevention, mindset, you name it, strategy even. You name it, we can help you. Go ahead and click the link below or somewhere in this video and we'll see you at the next lesson.